What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing some cool stuff with the LS block that I got back from the machine shop and I got the stroker kit in the mail, dude. Oh. oh, I got what you want, plus I got what you need what you Smoking need. on the finest train, hustle from a different breed Every day we risk it all just to rise to the top Tony Montana motivation, so we never gon' stop. stop I'm on my Cleveland Nail Hustle I'm on my Cleveland Nail Hustle Alrighty guys, so today what we're gonna be doing is Going over the short block Which I have basically down to nothing um, Got cam bearings in there I do have main bearings in there um, and I did install the ARP uh, main studs, but I'm gonna be going through everything today cleaning it all out uh, I'll show you why in a minute, but just want to show you my setup. I got my fab table You can use any table you got just to stay organized and I got some uh, cardboard I got this from a TV box. I just bought so that was helpful, but you could just lay some cardboard down or whatever you got You just need a nice clean area to work on. Okay. I got all my pistons set up um, for pistons we have Forge Comstar rods, um, ARP hardware, uh, all the rings and everything I already did. Uh, I didn't really record that, but I went ahead and uh, installed all the rings and everything. Um, spiral locks and the wrist pins and connected everything. So, I mean, it is pretty straightforward. The spiral locks are a bit of a pain in the butt, um, but you can figure that out for yourself, I guess. Uh, one thing I did notice is if you just get the point started here and start getting it pushed in and just kind of work your way around counterclockwise, they go in. We got our 799 heads, which are high compression heads that come stock with the L33, which is what we have. It's a 5.3 liter um, Vortec engine out of a truck, but it's an aluminum block, which came in the 05 year for the Silverados. So these are basically 243 heads. They're like good heads. So... I'm stoked to be running these. Um, everything is comp cam as far as valve train goes. It's a uh, double, double spring titanium retainers, the works, um, new valves. And then I had the machine shop do a three angle valve job. So those are looking fancy. The bottom of the heads are decked six thousands. Just, oh shit. Just, to, just to, uh, take off material. Uh, enough to seat properly and not be warped. They were a little warped before, so that's why they did that. Um, but see, so yeah, we got our heads here. We won't really be needing those right now, actually. Um, kind of just wanted to set them up here so they don't get ruined. Um, and then we got our Comstar forged and balanced crank. And as you can see, they uh, drilled out holes on these uh, counterweights here. And that's to balance this. So they put this up in a machine. They grind down all the journals and polish them up. Um, and then they they make sure everything's balanced with my rods and my piston. So it's a fully balanced forged rotating assembly, which is perfect. Um, and then, yeah, so I got my, my plate over here still installed. I got to take that back off. Um, and we're just going to be going through here, scrubbing down the uh, bores. Getting everything nice and smooth again. Um, when it comes back from the machine shop, there is still a grit inside here that you have to get out with a nylon brush uh, and a dish soap. So we'll be doing that. But also, you can't really see. Yeah, you can't see, can you? But I had to, I'll show you later, but I actually had to dremel out the bottom of the block myself, right in these corners down there. Uh, so they would clear the rod bolts, which I guess you have to do with every block. That's a stroker kit um, I didn't know that initially so I didn't have the machine shop do it, but you know, it's done now. So whatever uh, That was just one thing I had to do which is another reason I have to you know clean it out extra thoroughly because There's just like you can see there's these aluminum shavings everywhere so um, I, I don't feel comfortable running it like that obviously so I'm just going to go through power wash it and then scrub it all out with Dawn dish soap. Uh, same with the lifter bucket trays and everything. There's just, there's little aluminum bits everywhere. So we'll get this going, stop yapping. Um, and then just try to be mindful of our, our cam bearings in there. And um, shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> If 
living the moment You got it, you want it Every day a new city, another heart getting broken Checking the Airbnbs in the sea Keep a cup full, no bad bitch rolling And she bringing her friends too High heels, red bottoms, and double C on the bag Can't get any nigga she want, but it's too late to save her Fuck around, infatuated with this so high player Always cool, come and collect it Yeah, that's how I play it, G shit I'm just trying to live life Fuck whatever they talking Don't follow rules, I break those She a freak for real, have a change clothes Never cuffing the save them, I change them like they afraid Alright, so I got everything power washed out with Dawn do soap And then I rinsed it all out And then I kind of dried it out And now I'm just kind of like letting everything dry I'm going to hit it with a leaf blower But um, go in each cylinder basically And I got these uh, blue prep towels from PPG which are actually lintless because if you get like some stuff from Harbor Freight it says it's lintless there's crap flying off them everywhere so I'm not going to use that um, these are actually lintless and it makes it way easier and then I'm just going through and brake cleaning like everything in the engine um, just be super super detailed and clean if you put it in there it comes out with some dirt clean it again so that's all we're doing Alrighty guys, so what I've done is taken off all my main caps. Um, I got everything as clean as possible and um, Basically now what I did was I Have my bearings out and I'm setting them all up getting ready and I'm just thoroughly cleaning everything I can so I'm using uh, some brake cleaner and some acetone a lintless rag and I'm just meticulously like wiping down every single piece so like What see like look here this side looks Pretty decent because I just wiped it down but then when you look over here it's like pretty gunky looking almost which almost looks clean but if you look now it's better so I'm just gonna keep going until it's clean and not um, black when I wipe it so I keep wiping until there's no more dirt on there and that's gonna help you out and uh, protect the, the lifetime of your engine and prevent um, little metal bits from getting embedded into your bearings. So I'm gonna do that to the rest of these and I'll put you guys on a time lapse. Cartel Kush. Kush. Shopping caddy black, call it Samurai Jack Gas my tech, whenever me and my forces react Still tipping while I'm sipping, your baby mama missing Got her in my vicinity, big daddy when she mention me Smooth operator, I just fuck you data Said you was acting like a bitch, when I got a real MVP player She did whatever she want with me, whatever I let her Got her squirting on my couch and she's reclining in leather Never sweat her cause this thing is temporary Only thing I'm loving is money, relentless like I'm scary Terry Just in green camo bag no limit, do whatever it takes This game of jungle, gotta watch for the lions and snakes Dap you up and never trust them Always keep your eyes on your riches Doesn't matter if they made it through customs Full of lames that do anything for the clout Expose their young mama to get some diamonds in their mouth, bruh I'ma keep on hustling They can't stop my grind Stacking up this paper Alright guys, so basically uh, what I've been doing is going through and just getting everything super clean just being meticulous So we this is aluminum block, so it's not really gonna rust. There is some steel parts in here, which would rust so um, Make sure to dry everything out blow it all out with air compressed air hit everything after that um, You're gonna want to go through and check all your threads with a thread chaser and see if those are dirty You need to make sure those are clean or else you're not gonna get the correct torque sequence or I mean sorry correct torque reading um and then just go through with everything like I went through a q-tips And I found all that crud in there. I found metal shavings in there everything. So I went through and I um, Used a brush on all the lifter holes um, Brake cleaned the hell out of everything wiped everything down with acetone 
uh, wiped all these down acetone stuck a um, I got these brushes actually from Harbor Freight so I got this pack and then I have another pack for engines and uh, what I did was like use these put them in acetone like soak them in there and then you can just literally run these through and just like get as far back as you can twist it and stuff and then pull it out and then check it see if it's dirty wipe it on a rag if it's dirty keep doing it re-soak it in acetone just repeat that so to get this side you're gonna need to have it off the stand to get to it um but you could just rotate it over put it back on the hoist do it that way or you could do it before you put it on the stand so that's what you need to do soak the brush in acetone get all the oil galleries if you don't know the oil galleries look them up and make sure you do it because that's the oiling passageways for your engine which will save your engine from blowing up <clears throat> failure to do that will probably ruin your engine so pull all the plugs all the freeze plugs check everything i need to pull this one still um and to do that i'm actually going to use this guy which i got from harbor freight as well um and these brushes i got from harbor freight i got this pack for like four bucks or something and then this one for like 18 dollars and that's an engine kit but these ones actually have a longer um it's the same deal but these are longer so i got those as well which is great so i can get in these oil galleys here you want to soak that in acetone get those all really good um and then keep doing it until it comes out clean if it's still dirty you need to keep doing it um so yeah i'm gonna pull this one get that one and go through everything with a flashlight double check everything um i got all inside the cam bearings and everything with a q-tip and brake cleaner and acetone did all the bores just be super super thorough like it's heart surgery be meticulous with this because you're only doing it once you know you don't want to ruin all the parts you just got by being dirty and sloppy and lazy so hit it even if it looks clean brush it check it with a towel if it's dirty do it again all right guys so that concludes today's video for cleaning the engine if you did all that stuff um you should be good to go make sure you change out all your freeze plugs your oil galley barbell in the back of the engine which is that little brown plastic one right here you're gonna need to take that out get a new one all that stuff's like 20 bucks you can get a kit online just do it be done with it make sure you clean out the oil galleys um and then even if you have an ls the sleeves are steel so spray everything down with the wd-40 afterwards to prevent rust especially if you're not like about to go right back into it and assemble um for me i'm about to go eat some dinner so i think tomorrow we'll jump into assembly and we're gonna go through and just make sure we clean out our oil pan we're gonna clean out the crank but yeah we're gonna go through and clean all the pistons rods and everything all the bearings double check everything double check the orientation of the gaps the rings um and then we'll start the final assembly tomorrow all right so another tip is i would soak all your uh fasteners and bolts and some solvent that way it'll break up any debris and stuff like that. If you are going to keep on going for the pre-assembly, which you should do to do all your um, all your clearances and everything, make sure you go through on the crank as well. And you're gonna wanna get in here with some brushes. Don't scratch the journals or anything, but get in there and all the oil galleys and everything. Brush all that stuff out, brake clean everything, wipe it all down gently, and do the same thing we did for the, the block on the crank, your oil pan, main caps rods pistons everything heads all that stuff get it all super clean have a nice organized workspace like this not the rest of my garage but just this area and you should be good so that's it for tonight guys i hope you really enjoyed it and hopefully it helps somebody else out there and hopefully it gives you the courage to jump into one of these builds yourself because it's all pretty simple i know it sounds scary and it seems scary to some people but it's pretty it's pretty simple if you just read up on it do your research be meticulous attention to detail you can do it i believe in you uh but we'll jump into final assembly tomorrow thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time later <laughs>